Silicon Valley is trying to cure old age. Is that a good idea? There is a new field of research taking Silicon Valley by storm the quest for eternal life. Depending on who you ask, the life expansion industry is about to change the world forever. Or it all just nonsense? Aging is a metabolic problem and furthermore it is a really serious one that often affected everybody but it's one that we are is principle capable of solving says Dr. De Grey. Do I think that we are close to bringing aging under complete medical control? Well, yes, I think we are. We will reach what I have called longevity escape velocity, where we are fairly comprehensively repairing the damage of aging and we are thereby buying time for us to get better at it and then better again and so on and stay one step ahead of the problem forever. Most people alive today have at least, in my view, a 50% chance of never getting sick however long they live. The promise of some anti-aging prophets like Dr. De Grey and, and the experiment giving their claims an ear of possibility. Today's Silicon Valley is literated with life expansion, labs and startups founded by everyone from Amazon's Jeff Bezos to Google. As the labs continue to grow, Dr. DeGray predicts that life expansion may be on the, on the control and become the biggest industry on Earth. Money doesn't necessarily lead to success, however, and some researchers, needless to say, there are significant challenges for scientists' attempting to push the human lifespan beyond its current upper limit of around 120 years. But as new scientific discoveries and new way of thinking move life expansion, however, humanity may soon find itself dealing with the implication of extended or even limitless life. Aging has been the, you know, the number one preoccupation of humanity since the beginning of civilization. So you would kind of expect that we would have come up with an agreed definition of it. But no, people have different definitions. So my definition is very, very straightforward and simple. I simply define aging as the lifelong accumulation of damage in the body that is generated as side effects of the normal metabolic processes that keep us alive from one day to the next. The analogy with a car or an aeroplane or any other man-made machine is absolutely valid. They do damage to themselves in the course of their normal operation and they are only set up to tolerate a certain amount of that damage. But, as you say, by sufficiently comprehensive preventative maintenance, we can keep a car going as long as we like, irrespective of how long it was designed to last, which is typically only 10 or 15 years. Aging as an illness. Key to life extension is the belief that aging is more than just part of life. Instead, life extension advocates, like Dr. De Grey, see aging as an illness. At its core, says Dr. De Grey, it's the creation of damage to the body, a process that goes on through her life. By the way, Dr. DeGray has spent his career trying to unlock the secrets of immortality.